name's Tom Reitmeyer, and I'm the seminarian here at St. Vincent de Paul for my pastoral year this year. One of the great privileges that I've had and a beautiful experience has been to work with the building committee and all those who are responsible for preparing for the dedication liturgy. And as we sat down to go over the rite, we realized that there's a richness and a beauty to it that really we'd like to share with you before we even have the Mass. That way when we do all gather together in our new space, you can fully appreciate what it is that we're doing. So you can see that I'm standing here in our current worship space. You might ask, why would I begin a series of videos on the new church in the old church? Because actually this is where the rite will start. You see, we will all gather in here together. The altar and the ammo will be gone. The chairs will be gone. There will be a few chairs for those who are unable to stand. And we'll actually all be facing the opposite way. We'll be facing the doors that lead out to our new church. And as we gather together as the people of God, as the representatives of this local church parish community, we'll be joined by the bishop and the priests who will come in. And the bishop will come in and he will greet us and, and welcome us and thank us because it's primarily another celebration of his church, his diocese, that which he is the shepherd and we are a part. He'll greet us with words to remind us of what the meaning of the dedication truly is. He'll remind us that it's a place to baptize. It's a place to celebrate the Eucharist and to be fed by the Word of God. And the real emphasis that he'll draw out, and one that you'll hear me repeatedly say throughout these videos, is it's not the building that is the sacred and holy place. It's a building that is dedicated for the service of us, a place where we may gather, where we may worship God, because it's us who are the living temples. And that's what the bishop wants to emphasize to us in this initial address. And so I'm just going to read for you real quick his words that he'll say to us when we gather. He'll say, The new church, which is to be dedicated by the celebrations of the Eucharist, is where the Christian community hears the word of God, where its members are reborn in the waters of baptism and fed from the table of the Lord. They are the real temple of God, who by word and sacraments are to grow and become the temple of the Holy Spirit. The dedication of a church is a celebration of the people of God and of what they are and may become if they receive God's word into their hearts and nourish their lives on the body and blood of Christ. With those words, the bishop will ask us to join him in a procession as we leave this place and journey to our new place of worship. Now that procession, it's not just a mere line of people in mass waiting to go in, but it's a real procession. It's a prayer of the feet, if you will. And so we maintain that prayerful spirit as we sing from a Psalm 22, let us go rejoicing into the house of the Lord. This is the very beginning of a somewhat long, yet beautiful, beautiful liturgy that is rich in symbolism and meaning. Everything that the church has outlined for us to do has some significance to us. So I invite you to journey along with us as I take you through the liturgy for, to give you a time to slow down and to reflect on what it is that you will see. Our hope is that on December 29th, you will be able to come into this celebration and appreciate it for all the glory and beauty that it is.